Hello friends, welcome to Slide Hunt with C Programming video tutorial. In this tutorial, I am gonna tell you about a special type of number, it's called Armstrong number. So, first we know what is an Armstrong number. A number is said to be Armstrong if the sum of the cube of its digit is same as the number. Suppose you are given a number, say 153 and you have to determine whether it is an Armstrong number or not. So the first thing that you need to do, take each of the digit individually and cubic them. So we get 1 to the power Q, 5 to the power Q and 3 to the power Q. Next you need to add all these numbers and find the sum. If the sum is equal to the original number, then you can say it is an Armstrong number. As you can see here, the sum is 153 which is equal to the original number so 153 is an Armstrong number to get a clear idea let's see another example suppose we have another number say 124 so the first thing that we have to do separate all the digit and cubic them so we get 1 to the power q 2 to the power q and 4 to the power q next add all this number and find the sum you can see here the sum is 73 which is not equal to the original number 124 so 124 is not an armstrong number next we see the algorithm to find the armstrong number here i have taken an armstrong number that is 153 and a variable sum which is initially assigned to zero so the first thing that we need to do plucking out the last digit that is 3 from this number to do this we perform the mod operation that is 153 mod 10. We get 3 as a remainder. Next we cubic it and add to the sum. 3 to the power q is equal to 27. So 0 plus 27 is equal to 27. The next thing that we need to do reduce the number by taking out 3 from this number. So we perform 153 divided by 10 and the answer is 15. Next again we need to do plucking out the last digit from 15. So we perform 15 mod 10 and the remainder is 5. Next cubic it and add to the sum that is 27 plus 5 to the power q. 5 to the power q is equal to 125. 27 plus 125 is equal to 152. Next we remove 5 from 15. So divide 15 by 10 1. Again we perform 1 mod 10 and the remainder is 1. Then cubic it and add to the sum. So 125 plus 1 to the power q is equal to 153. As you can see here, the sum is equal to the original number. So 153 is an Armstrong number. Next we divide 1 by 10. The answer is 0 and the procedure is completed. Let's move to the coding. Here the first thing that we need to do asking user to enter number. So I am gonna write here printf please enter a number and a new line. Next we need to read the number that the user enter. So I am gonna write here scanf percent %d and I am going to store the input number to the variable input. So write here ampersand input. And we need to declare input as a integer type variable. So I am gonna write here int input. And we need to initialize sum equal to 0 and we need to declare another temporary variable so I am gonna write here temp next we copy the input number to the temporary variable so I am gonna write here temp equal to input you think why I write this statement because when we continuously dividing the input number by 10 we will lose the original value that the user enter. So just to hold the original value, we copy the input number to the temporary variable temp and then we perform all the operation on the variable temp. Next we need to find the unit place of the given number. So I am going to write here int r equal to temp mod 10. Next thing that we need to do cubic of r and add to the sum. So I am gonna write here sum equal to sum plus r cube. Here we perform cubic of r by multiplying r three times. Next we need to reduce the number. So I am gonna write here temp equal to temp by 10. To find the Armstrong number we need to execute this three statement again and again. 
until the value of the temporary variable will be zero. So we need to write these three statements inside a loop. Here we use a while loop. So I am gonna write here while a pair of parentheses and inside the curly braces we write these three statements. So here I write the starting braces and here closing braces. And now write the condition. The loop will be continue until the value of the variable temp will be equal to zero. So I am gonna write here temp not equal to zero. Our looping procedure is completed. Next outside this loop we need to check the sum is equal to the input number or not. So I am gonna write here if sum equal to equal to input. If this condition is true then the input number that the user enter is an Armstrong number. So I am gonna write here printf percent %d is an Armstrong number. And if this condition is false, then it is not an Armstrong number. So write here else part. And I am going to copy it. And paste here. And I am going to write here, it is not an Armstrong number. Our program is completed. Let's check the output. Compile it and run it. It asks to you, please enter a number. I am going to enter 153. 153 is an Armstrong number. Let's check one more time. Now I am going to enter 124. 124 is not an Armstrong number. That's it. Hope you understand. See you in next tutorial. Thank you for watching this video. To watch more videos, please subscribe this channel.